All right, let's get busy. Okay, uh, I was out and about yesterday doing my thing, hunting for books. And I tell you what, let's start with some... Let's start with some 1950s books. And we're starting the game off with Strange Adventures number 25. Strange Adventures number 25. This is a gorgeous cover. And uh, when I came across it, it, this book, I believe this is from, what, 1952. And... Uh, when I saw it, I know just the condition on it and the fact that it's a pre-code. What can, what genre would you put this at? Was it, would you put it at sci-fi? Would you put it at mystery? Uh, would, 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 what say you? What say you? This look, you know, I I don't. This looks a little. I don't know. I don't know. Fantasy. I don't know. I don't know. But the condition on this was really on point and uh, I looked inside no detachments no uh, centerfold detachments no staple pops or anything like that and I got this for 25 bucks actually wait how much was this this was no 28 got this for $28 got Strange Adventures 25 for $28 and here's a copy that sold on eBay for 85 so I think I got a pretty decent deal and the condition is not too dissimilar to the one that I just bought so yeah for 28 yeah wow. strange adventures 25 from 1958 let's stay on the I guess you can... What is this? Fantasy? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fantasy, mystery... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. House of Secrets, number 17. And I believe this is from 1959. So we go from 1952 to 1959. But we're still staying with DC. And uh, I noticed that they kind of kept the same DC logo keeping that logo for a while okay it's all good it's all good um uh number 17 got this for 33 dollars it's about i don't know it's about what it goes for online but uh, i got a chance to look inside and i will say that the mylar that this thing is in does not do it justice this thing is really st this thing is still pretty damn glossy I don't know if you can catch the sheen through this uh, mylar that this um, comic is in, but wow, this thing is in really beautiful shape and uh, just as solid as the Strange Adventures. But yeah, I I I love this cover. Totally fell in love with this cover, and for thirty three dollars in the condition that it's in, I'm like ah, why not? Why not? Why not? So early postcode um, uh, Silver Age. Okay, all right, it's all good, it's all good. Um, now, these two here, these two copies here, or these two books here, I uh, made sure to look inside, front, back, forth and forth. Uh, this one, I just bought this uh, without even look, I have yet to even look inside this thing. <laughs> so we have Black Knight number one from 1952 from uh, Toby Comics or Toby Publications. What's your name, boy? But uh, what did I want to say about this? this? Is from 1952. Now the Marvel version of uh the black knight is from i believe 19 either 1954 or 1955 but whatever um the time period it does have that big old that big old um comics code seal on the cover whereas this one doesn't so this is a pre-code book and i like this one uh so you have a bondage 
Cleavage Damsel in Distress cover. Okay. All right. Okay. So we got this for 31 bucks. I'm pre and look, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I, I don't I don't really want to open it because I'm pretty sure this thing smells <laughs> uh like old comic. But yeah, I mean you can tell this thing is just beat. But oddly enough, that morning I was looking up, you know, just stuff that sold on eBay, and I noticed that a pretty high grade copy of this uh raw had sold for about two thousand dollars. So uh, when I came across this later on that day, I'm like, ah, for 31 bucks, ah, why not? <laughs> why not? Let's take a chance. Let's go. Let's go for it. I, again, didn't even look at it. Didn't even look inside. I don't know what the hell's missing from it. I don't know what else popped. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. But for $31, why not? Okay. Now here's a book that uh, that I absolutely love 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 so we have buccaneers number 21 i believe this is from 1952 i believe it's from 1952 this is a pre-code book and quality and this is from uh quality comics which um also um it was also uh home to blackhawk and Quality Comics got bought out by DC. So, anyway, uh, Buccaneers number 21. And what's her name? Julia, Mysterious Island Priest Priestess, baits a death trap for Captain Daring. And uh, you see her cohorts getting ready to do some damage. Yes, they are to these poor, unsuspecting pirates. All right, but yeah, I saw this. I took a look inside. Everything is solid. No attachments, no staple pops or anything like that. So we got this for 150, and I will say, I've spent 150 dollars on way worse than this. So when I did see it, I'm just like, ah, all right, fine. I didn't want to leave it there for 150. This thing is in really solid condition. So yeah, so we got Buccaneers number 21. All right, what's next? What's next? Let's go, let's jump to some modern. We're gonna do a, a super duper jump to modern age. And uh, we're gonna do Icon number 35. Um, what did I wanna say about this? So we're, we're nearing the end of the Icon run. Icon comic number 35. Let's see if this book is going for anything, shall we? Icon, oh Jesus. M-I-L-E-S-T-O-N-E. -E. And, all right, so there are, wow. Now, I'm not saying this book is going for that much okay so there was a sale a single sale for about $24 okay all right so yeah low print run and there are copies available for 37 and somebody wants what $99 or both yeah okay yeah nobody's doing that <laughs> I, I don't care how desperate somebody is nobody's doing that so that was three dollars uh, this was three dollars as well so we have icon number 37 let's look this book up and see what it's going for icon 37 milestone and uh there are copies available for what 45 to 30 dollars and let's see what they've sold for all right so no individual sales but people want a lot for it how about that so icon number 37 good looking cover this is a cover I, i've never noticed before so all right i'm done with that and we have the wonder twins number one ever since 
I believe, uh, what, there was a Wonder Twins, I don't know, movie, TV show announcement? I forget. Something to do with the Wonder Twins hitting the screen. Um, uh, this book has been really tough to find along with um, uh, Super Friends number seven. Even though I do have copies of uh, Super Friends number seven from the um, 1970s, uh, this book was particularly tough to find. Wonder Twins number one. Let's look up what this book is going for, if anything. N not, it doesn't, let's see. I'm seeing sales for individual, probably like $15 copies available. But this book really doesn't go for too much online, but it's just really tough to find. So we got that for a little bit over cover price. Now here's a book I am hella, 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 hella excited to find. Ooh wee, ooh. We look at this. Look at this bad boy here. Mm. Look at that. Ooh, baby. So we have Love and Rockets number seven. Love and Rockets number seven. The glare monster is strong. Let's try to position you to where. Eh, it, it's tough to see really, but look at that. Look at that. I've been after this book for quite a few months. Um, so you have this, this book was cover swiped by America Chavez number six. It's a Jim Bartel cover. I forgot to pull that book out to show the comparison, but, uh, that's okay. You can, you guys can look up America Chavez six, but look at this, look at this. This is a... This is what we call a copper, this is a Copper Age classic. Copper Age indie classic cover. Look at that. And I got this for seven bucks. Ooh wee. I know I noticed prices for this book were kind of all over the place. So let's look up. Let's see. Love. Love and Rockets number 24. Uh C O M I C. Let's look this book up and see what's doing. Okay, so there is a copy. So this is a first. This is a first print. So there is a copy available for a hundred. There is an auction for that in number twenty-five, but no bidders just yet. I don't know if this, let's see. Is this a first print or not? Yeah, it looks like it, but nobody's biting. But I don't care. I got this for seven bucks. So yeah, prices are just, prices for this book are weird. But yeah, I love this book so much. Love this cover. Again, Copper Age classic cover. And I wish, let's see, do I have, where's the magazine Mylar for this? Do I need to take off the microphone? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm taking the microphone off, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I thought I had a magazine, a better magazine back, bag and board kicking around here somewhere. Apparently I don't, apparently I don't. Nope, 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 nope. Not yet, not yet, okay, that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, I hope this doesn't create too much of a hassle. Uh, did that hurt anyone's ears? Me putting that microphone back on. But yeah, look at that. Love and Rockets, number 24. Oh, baby. Look at that. Yeah. All right. We got it for seven bucks. Very happy about that. All right. What's next? Let's do some Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. So this is... Number 645, Amazing Spider-Man, number 640. You know what? Let's take this thing out. I can show you. Let's show you this book in all of its glory. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Um, 
Amazing Spider-Man number 645. This is a 1 in 15 variant. This is a book that I, I'd never noticed before. And then when I came across it, I paid $10 for this. And so when I came across it, I noticed that there are copies available um, for about what I paid for this. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. The condition on it was really nice. And I, I typically don't, I typically won't buy a book if I can, if I see it online for the exact same price, I typically won't buy it. You know what I'm saying? But I saw this, I'm, I made an exception just because the cover is so nice. And how many times can I say this cover is so nice? And the condition on it was very good or rather near mint. And uh, <laughs> what am I saying? But yeah, and it's a, um, it do, I really don't want to take this out, but eh, why not? I'll tell you what, let's, because I really don't want to handle it because it's a nice black cover, but yeah, it features a, the Sinister Six, and it's a Brian, it's a Brian Hitch 1 in 15 variant. So, again, there are, I paid $10 for this, and there are uh, $10 copies available online for this, for this book. So, yeah, Amazing Spider-Man number 645. So, this is a 1 in 15. The print run on this, according to Comicron, was 56,709. So, divide that by 15, and you get 30. So about 3,780 copies approximate. So it probably could and should be less than that. So you never know. You never know. All right, but it's a good looking cover. Brian Hitch. Uh, oh, now here's a book that I've been after for a very, very long time. So we have Madman number 16. Madman number 16. And okay, now I came across this book a long time ago. Uh, so this is Madman 15, and I came across it again yesterday. Uh, so we got this for so we got these for about what 360 each. And uh, so this is the um, uh, David Bowie um, um, album cover swipe, and we have the Abbey Road al album cover swipe. And oddly enough, I will say this one goes for more, but this one is way tougher to find. I notice I've come across multiple copies of Madman Atomic Comics, uh, number 15, but this is the only copy of number 16 that I've found. So this book is really, really, really tough to find, and I couldn't be happier who have found it love this cover freaking love this cover all right all right so what's next what's next uh i will say okay so as far as value goes i've seen 50 dollar copies i've seen copies of this sell for 50 dollars madman atomic comics number 15 and I believe there are like $30 copies av available for this. But again, this one is way tougher to find out in the wild. All right, what's next? Rose and Thorn number four. Look at this cover. This is a beautiful cover. Rose and Thorn number four. This is a um, uh, Adam Hughes cover. Let's see. Let's look this book up. Let's see what this book is going for. Rose, T H O R N, number four. Rose and Thorn, number four. What's this thing going for? Oh, holy crap. Okay. All right. Respectable. Very respectable. Let's see. Uh, so, individual copies. Can sell for about, I don't know, about 25 bucks. All right, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I like it. Love it. Love it, as a matter of fact. So we got that for about three bucks. Uh, we found a VG copy 
of Avengers Annual 10 for 15 bucks. Okay, VG copy. Uh, let's show Star Wars some love. Found three copies of Star Wars. War of the Bounty Hunters, Jabba the Hutt, number one, second print. That was a mouthful, I know. And this is the design cover for Deva Lompop. Okay. All right. Okay. Sure. Sure, 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 sure. It's a lizard bride. Okay. Uh, what's this book going for now? I noticed that there is a... Uh, auction for this ending soon and the last time I checked it was um, around 21 bucks so it could go for more than that or it could just stay the same I don't know but I just know it's going for at least $21 so far oh look at this look at this look at you oh, look at you look at you all right all right let's show you off let's show you off Look what I found. Look what I found. So we have Ultimate Comics, all new Spider-Man number one. This is the Pacelli 1 in 15 Miles Morales mask off variant. Yes, yes, we found, we found another copy. Now, I had a copy a long time ago, but I sold it off before time, and I'm thinking to myself, ah, crap, I'm not gonna find another one, but turns out I did, and uh, I'll tell you the story on this. Now, as I was at this particular store, I wanna say close to a year ago, and this was the day this was um right around the time that they opened for the day and um i think my stomach is growling i'm hungry but uh, uh they had opened they had for, they had opened for the day and they had a bunch of long boxes uh in the middle of the floor I'm like, what's up? What's up with those boxes? It's like, uh, just books that we haven't processed yet. You can go through them, but we have to price them at the counter. I'm like, okay, fair enough. And uh, a copy of this was in there. I'll, I'll be damned if this wasn't the copy. And uh, I, so I asked them how much, and they were like, I think they said either four or five hundred dollars. And I'm like, oh, no, thank you. And this was a year ago, mind you. And uh, prices for this are just steadily, steadily, steadily going up to where I believe this is like a three to $4,000 nine eight. And uh, yesterday, and oddly enough, and oddly enough, uh, this book was on their back wall for about, I think, four to $500 uh, in, in that time being, you know, and it see, and it turns out that they took this book in, got it graded, and uh, I guess it came back at a dissa dissatisfactory grade, because when I bought this book, uh, it was graded, it was slabbed, and I decided to crack it out. <laughs> but, but they slashed the hell out of this price. And I got this for now. The price tag on it was 175, but I got a discount on it, and I got it for 125. So I got this book for 125. So that's why I felt comfortable cracking it out of its slab. Only a handful of people know uh, what the grade was on it. I will I will say it was in the nines, but it was still probably dissatisfactory to the store. So that's why they slashed the price on it. And uh, so I got this for $125. And let's see what can be what can be cleaned up. So you got a little bit of dirt right there. And I haven't had this book in so long. I thought this I thought this cover was a card stock and it's not. It's just regular just regular paper stock. 
So yeah, I got this for $125. Yes, and I cracked it out of the slab. It looked good in the slab, I will say. It looked good in the slab. But uh, I I think we can do something with this. I think, I think, I think when the time, when I, when I get around to it, how about that? When I get around to it, I'm not going to probably do anything to it right now, but I'll get around to it. All right, what's next? Let's stay spider themed with uh, Spider Woman number 13. Uh, I forget what the ratio is on this. Uh, maybe a 1 in 25, maybe a 1 in 15, but it's a number 13 variant versus the Hobgoblin. Got that for $12. Got this for 2 bucks. Spider-Woman Origin number 1, Oliver, Oliver Koipel variant. Uh, good looking cover. I have to imagine Spider-Woman is going to become a thing soon enough, so why not? Marvel Knights 2... Uh, a variant featuring Electra, J. Lee cover. Got that for three bucks. Uh, oh my goodness, this one, this one made me very distraught. So we have Green Lantern number thirty-nine. This is the one twenty-five variant um, featuring, well, rather, uh, Lar Fleas becomes an Orange Lantern or something to that effect. And this is the one in twenty-five variant. Got this for three bucks. I I think at the beginning of the year, I paid like thirty-five dollars for a copy, I believe. And now here I'm coming across one for three bucks. Oddly enough, and here's the regular cover for two dollars. All right, it's all good. Uh, we're staying with the Green Lantern train. We're staying on the Green Lantern train with number forty-three. Uh, something to do with the black hand and I don't know whatever whatever got that for a dollar twenty five uh, this was two dollars uh, Zaytana well rather seven soldiers Zaytana number three nice uh, Zaytana cover all right well, Ryan Sook Zaytana cover got that for two bucks uh, this was a dollar fifty uh death gallery now the reason why i bought this was let's see let's open you up let's open you up let's show you why i bought death gallery we have plenty of pinups of death and ah there we go we have the adam hughes image that was used in used on the doll man cover the unauthorized use so there you go uh, let's get you back in now i came across a five dollar copy uh, last week and i'm like ah, i don't want to pay no five dollars but i will pay a dollar fifty uncanny x-force number 18 second print this book was on my want list and i forget why i totally forget why um uncanny x-force 18 un-c-a-n-n-y x-f-o-r-c-e one eight i i could have swore this was like the first appearance of some character i damn it Totally forget, totally forget, but uh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> you can look it up. Uh, and I believe this was the first appearance as well. I guess I should have looked these up, but I, I was just like so amped. I just wanted to get this video out. House of M number four. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, hold on. Ugh, this is my video, so. If I want to meander a little bit, I will do so, because this is my video. All right, hold on, hold on. Do, 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 do. Hold on. We're going to look some things up really fast. Hold on, hold on. We're going to look some shit up. Hello, thank you. Uh, is this... Is this it? Okay. All right. Uh, as far as first appearances go, Genesis. First appearance. So I believe... 
So first appearance of a character called Genesis. Evan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I bought this. So it's the first appearance. So I bought uh, Uncanny X-Force 18, second print, because it's the first appearance of that character. It looks like a Young Apocalypse. Yeah, Young Apocalypse. Okay, all right, all right, whatever. Whatever. And uh, House of M number four, I believe that is... Ah, I forget what variant that is, but... Let's see. Let's look up House of M. H O U S E O F M number four. House of M four. House of M volume one number four. And this is I forget if this is like a second print, third print, and send a variant. I totally forget. And I could have swore this was a first appearance as well. Layla Miller. First appearance of Layla Miller. But, uh, no. Do we need to look up Layla Miller Marvel? Oh, Eve. Layla M I L L E R M A R V E L. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have looked this stuff up beforehand. Ah, here we go. Here we go. So, first appearance of this chick here. Boom. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so yeah, this is her first appearance, this character here. And that's why I bought House of M4. All right, okay, now now everything's starting to click because I've had this thing on my want list for so many weeks, like both of these books, for so long, I just forget why they were on my want list. Okay, everything's starting to click now. Okay, so we have Marvel Knights number one from I believe 2000 and it still has the certificate of authenticity uh, got that for two bucks got this for three dollars uh, eternity entity number one I forget what the ratio is on this but for three dollars I wasn't gonna pass it up uh, fearless number two Jenny Frizen connecting variant featuring storm Electra wasp and spider gwen in the cover i mean in the background and last but not least let's show archie some love we have betty number 46 this is the uh the book that predicts the future in 2021 and betty number 23 got these uh for a dollar uh 25 a piece okay so that's my video this is thing this video here has gone on long enough so uh i thank you guys for watching and i will see y'all next time oh look at this where where are you where are you where you at where you at where are you where are you i don't know where's miles at oh look at you we got you back we got you back baby we got you back all right that's my haul and i'll see you next time all right bye